So, I was reading through the articles on Yahoo the other day, just checking out different stories, seeing what was uh, the latest news, and I came across a story that was real interesting and I wanted to uh, talk about it and discuss it. Uh, the video that you see in the background is me playing a little team deathmatch, uh, some regular black ops, and uh, what I wanted to talk about is something I read on a a Yahoo uh, article is basically about Trey Burke. Um, for all you that know, Trey Burke was our starting point guard at University of Michigan uh, a few years ago. Took us to the national championship game where we lost, of course, but what I wanted to talk about was these comments that he made uh, just a few days ago. Now, I know that he said that these comments were taken out of context and stuff like that, and I don't know how true that is, but I mean it really seemed like he threw the university under the bus. And basically what he had, uh, to paraphrase, he just said that the university was serving jail food, and that they left him unprepared for life in the NBA. So. I, mean, I don't know how true that is. I mean, I, I don't. I've never gone to the University of Michigan, so I don't know how good the food is there. I don't know if it's improved, if it's worse. That I'm not sure about. But what I do know is, I doubt that whatever they were serving there was jail food. When I went to college and they and I ate at the student center, uh, I mean, I didn't eat at the dorm or anything like that. But the stuff that they had to at the st student center it wasn't the best but I mean it was pretty decent so I'm pretty sure that the University of Michigan had you know half decent food and you know the thing about him talking about the MBA, uh the college not preparing preparing him for college life I mean I don't know how much the, the college can do for that I mean he left early he said he quote unquote checked out his sophomore year saying that I guess they were just supposed to know that he was leaving and they should have prepared him and I don't know if that's supposed to be the university's job especially if you're leaving early now if you're you know if you're a four-year student you're a senior you're graduating stuff like that then yeah I understand that maybe that might be something that could be discussed but I mean if you're choosing to leave, leave early from the university I mean I doubt he's coming back to graduate and get his degree I mean I don't know if that's on them to do that so I just I found that interesting that I mean he made that claim but I mean one thing that he did do and did talk about and this is something that I did want to discuss is another underlying topic that's been discussed before and that's about you know players being play uh, being paid in college. So personally, I'm I mean I don't know how to go as far as that goes. I don't know whether or not that's because there's so many variables in that, and I don't know whether or not it's really a viable option. I and mean, here's why. I mean, first and foremost, I mean, are we talking that every single uh, student athlete that plays a sport is supposed to get paid, or are we just talking about, you know, the major sports like football, basketball, etc.? I mean, if you're talking about every single, you know, af student athlete that's out there, I mean, you're talking about the university, you know, forking out a lot of money in order to pay each of these things, you know, each student to, you know, play a sport. And then it comes down to, well, are you paying each student the same amount of money? Or are you paying one more than the other? I mean, how do you determine how much each student athlete gets? I mean, does the star quarterback get more than the third string punter? I mean, how, how do you work that out? So, I don't know how they work out that system if that's you know something that they they choose to do in the future 
and I mean, it's, it goes back to, I mean, what if you're a student athlete that's playing a sport that's not anything where, you know, it's a link to major sport. So, for example, if you're a student field hockey player or, you know, something like that, or you play uh, lacrosse or something like that, I mean, obviously, those are not sports that are popular and not sports that are going to be generating a whole lot of, you know, money for the university. So, how how do you pay those players? I mean, are you are you going to pay them as much as the star defensive end? Are you paying them as much as the starting point guard? I mean, how do you distinguish between each of those? I mean, they're both student athletes. So how do you decide on who gets paid what? I mean, I, I don't know. It, it's, I mean, I understand to an extent what people are saying, but to say that student athletes are like slaves and stuff like that, I mean, that I don't agree with. I mean, you're getting, you're getting a free education, whether you agree with that part or not. I mean, you're getting to go to you know, a top-notch university without having to pay for it, free meals, and, and all sorts of other things, so... It's, it's, it's a double-edged sword. I, you know, you could argue for or against the whole thing, but, I mean, I was... All in all, I was pretty turned off by what he said, and, you know, like I said, he said that his comments were taken out of context. He didn't mean it like that. And I mean, I don't know if he's saying that because he really meant that, or because he, you know, saw the backlash and saw the critical comments about him. And it's just trying to do, you know, do his PR stuff and you know be politically correct about it. I don't know. So. We'll definitely see in the near future whether or not anything like that happens. I mean, you already had the whole thing with uh, the O'Bannons with um, messing up the whole uh, college football or college basketball, you know, using their, their names and not getting paid for it, which, by the way, messed up NCAA um, football and all that stuff. But anyways, that's it for the video. If you like it, leave a like share the video and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a blessed day.